what's up you guys so today's video from the headline I know you guys already know the topic yes this will be my coming out story for those who have been following my YouTube channel from way back when know that um, I was doing my girlfriend here if you've been following my channel now you see how crazy things have gotten now here is my coming out story growing up it was me my brother growing up, I felt like I felt like I always was I would say promiscuous if, that, if that's the word I always felt like I was promiscuous so when I think I was in like kindergarten when I first acted on anything I'm not gonna go into details um but I think it was about kindergarten when I first acted on anything and um I, re I remember playing with both experimenting with both sexes um as time went on I guess I grew to liking one side more than the other so as I got older as I got older I always felt like I didn't fit in like I was missing something I was like I didn't feel a hundred percent masculine I didn't feel a hundred percent straight or I didn't feel straight at all at times so I would say in high school um, it's when I was like I would you know I wish I would wake up with these I would wake up with these I would wake up with these urges for the same sex like you know like like I like the same sex and I remember I used to be like just going to sleep like maybe the next day I'll wake up and it'll go away I wake up and this feeling will, will go away and I won't have this this feeling for the same sex anymore but it didn't go away so you know the type of family and the background that I have they're very close-minded uh, I would I won't say they're homophobic but they're not educated they're they're ignorant to the the um, whole gay thing so growing up I had no one to talk to about what I was dealing with or how I was feeling so um I hooked up with my one of my um, neighborhood friends which was a girl and um, I thought maybe having sex with her would kind of like make the feeling of liking the same sex go away I even thought crazy having a kid would make the same make the feeling go away so yeah me and my um, me and my um me, me and my kid's mother, we had our first, we had our first child, and it was a girl, and the feeling still didn't go away, so I guess you'd call it I was DL, but I was gay, but I had, I, I wasn't, you know, out here messing with any guys, it was just the urge, if anything I'd watch, I just watched porn, um, but then, the second uh, the second child came and I was not I don't know what I was thinking I wasn't ready I knew that this isn't this was not the road that I should be going down and the road I was not I was not happy I was so miserable pretending to be happy so when me and my kids mother we split up aka baby mom as y'all know when we split up she went back to she went back to Texas where her family was because due to Hurricane Katrina and I continued to work in New Orleans so when we got in contact and she told me it the, the last child was she was having a boy like man my world just lit up I just felt like I had something to prove you know to the people that would probably say anything because of me being uh, you know DL or anything like that you know so when I figured when I found out she was having a boy, I was excited. So when my son was turning one, I decided to move to Houston, Texas. I moved to Houston, Texas, you know, with it on my mind to like, you know, be up in front, be honest with my kid's mother. I was like, so 
this is how <laughs> this is how I came out to my kid's mother. Um, we were sitting on the bed, and I told her, I told her, you tell me your, you tell me your deepest secret, and I'll tell you mine. And when I tell you, it was really hard. So we wrote down on a piece of paper our um, secrets. So I won't tell you her secret, but the secret that she told me it was like, damn, that hurt it. You know, fuck. I'm like, damn, that's. I feel like that was worse than what I had to tell her. So. I wrote down on a piece of paper and I wrote a slate to her and the paper note said I'm gay. So, um, I, and she, I was like, and when I slid it to her, I bust out in tears and I bust out, started crying because I didn't, at that moment, I didn't know how she would feel. I didn't know how she would take it, you know, and I was just like, you know, I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want you to not accept me and I didn't want you to judge me and talk about me and stand at third. And my kid's mother was like, she was like, I accept you, you know, and I was like, at that moment, I felt like if my kid's mother knew, at that, if, if she knew about it and she took, and she still was with me, I didn't care. I didn't, I felt like I didn't owe nobody else that explanation but her. And even though as the years progressed, we, the relationship still wasn't happy, you know, even though she knew you know, and that felt like a weight lifted off my shoulders. I was still living an unhappy life or, you know, in an unhealthy relationship. So, moving back, I eventually moved back to New Orleans with her. And we were just arguing, arguing, arguing. And she allowed people at her job to get into our relationship. And she eventually started telling some uh, homegirls, and I'm not saying this to bash my baby mama. You know, we have a we have a really good relationship this, this day. So um, she started letting people get into her head, and she started telling telling them, "Yeah, I'm gay." And you know, I was you know, and I'm so self, I was so self conscious, and I'm like, "Oh my God!" Now people are going to start judging me. Um, So we even so eventually we eventually like the relationship got too toxic. We broke up and she started, you know, out trying to out me. And at that moment, I was already in that year I was turning 25. And I told myself, I'm not going to take I'm not going to spend the rest of my years in the closet. I'm not I'm not and I feel like I could tell my story better than somebody else can. I just decided to come out on my own. And when I came out to my mother, she didn't accept it. I believe her first reaction was, don't call my phone anymore, you know, da 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 She was not happy. And it hurted me also because I'm like, as your child, like, how could you not accept me? How could you not accept the fact that I'm gay when my mother was on drugs when I was growing up? And my dad died when we was we, we, me and my brother was when I was like three. My brother was like four or five. I'm not sure. I can't remember that much. But I was like, how could you not accept me when you were on drugs? I eventually moved to Atlanta, where I guess all the gays go to try to just. I guess I felt like I was running. I was running from the fact of what people would might what people might think of me now that I'm now coming out. I couldn't face anyone. You know, I felt like. Everybody that, that looked my way would be pointing us, having something to say. So I moved to Atlanta and I spent a year in Atlanta trying to pursue and build my hair career. So after a year in Atlanta, I eventually moved to New York and I hit rock bottom in New York and then I wound up having to move back home. And in that process of moving back home, in that process of being homeless in New York, I told myself that, and I said, you know, sometimes being alone and being on your own could really light a fire on the ass and wake you up. So I sat with myself and I, you know, I just had a coming to Jesus moment. I was like, God is not gonna bless me until I get right with my kids. And you know, until I stop running. So I decided to go home and I decided to get on my feet and I decided 
you know, I wouldn't care what nobody else would think of me. And granted, it was not easy trying to, you know, build that confidence up to like say fuck what people think but eventually I got there and you know basically my mom I think she's a little bit okay right now but I think it's like I think it's like the fact that mostly um, I think she's like embarrassed by it or whatever or whatnot but she knows so it's you know that's one part of the battle that's one part good but um i mean yeah basically my family didn't accept it i guess via you know i guess she was were more so embarrassed by it but you know me and my kids mother now we have a great relationship we, we're like really good friends and i mean yeah everything is good you know i came back home i got on my feet i didn't care what nobody thought of me you know i stopped running and you know i just looked at it like this only god can judge me you know only god could judge any of us but um i mean basically that was my coming out story i mean just trying to fight through life from a real young age to you know i would say um pretty much now i mean but now i'm more confident and i feel like i'm even more myself now that i've come out and yeah basically that's my coming out story um yeah um it wasn't yeah that wasn't too bad um but if you guys have any comments and you want to ask me about how everything went with me coming out and my kid's mother or me how what's the relationship with me and my kids and how do they take what do they think of it just leave me some comments below and i will gladly answer your questions um don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I am Mike Shears, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Love you. I'm out.